Then Joseph said unto the people, Behold, I have bought you this day and your land for Pharaoh, lo, here is seed for you, and ye shall sow the land. And six years thou shalt sow thy land, and shalt gather in the fruits thereof. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not bless thy cattle gender with a diverse kind, thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed, neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vineyard, and gather in the fruits thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the land, a Sabbath for the Lord, thou shalt neither sow thy field, nor prune thy vineyard. A jubile shall that fiftieth year be unto you, ye shall not sow, neither reap that which groweth of itself in it nor gather the grapes in it of thy vine undressed. And if ye shall say, What shall we eat the seventh year? Behold, we shall not sow, nor gather in our increase. And ye shall sow the eighth year, and eat yet of old fruit until the ninth year, until her fruits come in ye shall eat of the old store. I also will do this unto you, I will even appoint over you terror, consumption and the burning ague, that shall consume the eyes, and cause sorrow of heart, and ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with divers seeds, lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown, and the fruit of thy vineyard, be defiled. And this shall be a sign unto thee, ye shall eat this year such things as grow of themselves, and in the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye, and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruits thereof. Even as I have seen, they that plough iniquity, and sow wickedness, reap the same. Then let me sow, and let another eat, yea, let my offspring be rooted out. And sow the fields, and plant vineyards which may yield fruits of increase. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that observeth the wind shall not sow, and he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand, for thou knowest not whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Doth the ploughman plough all day to sow? Doth he open and break the clods of his ground? Then shall he give the rain of thy seed, that thou shalt sow the ground withal, and bread of the increase of the earth, and it shall be fat and plenteous, in that day shall thy cattle feed in large pastures. Blessed are ye that sow beside all waters, that send forth thither the feet of the ox and the ass. And this shall be a sign unto thee. Ye shall eat this year such as groweth of itself, and the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye, and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruits thereof. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground, and sow not among thorns. Behold, the days come saith the Lord, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man, and with the seed of beast. Neither shall ye build house, nor sow seed, nor plant vineyard, nor have any, but all your days ye shall dwell in tents, that ye may live many days in the land where ye be strangers. And I will sow her unto me in the earth, and I will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy. And I will say to them which were not my people, Thou art my people, and they shall say, Thou art my God. Sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Thou shalt sow, but thou shalt not reap, thou shalt tread the olives, but thou shalt not anoint thee with oil, and sweet wine but shalt not drink wine. And I will sow them among the people, and they shall remember me in far countries, and they shall live with their children, and turn again. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, 
neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them, how much more are ye better than the fowls? But it is happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire.